Hello everyone, Shamanzini here, and I'm continuing our video training series on Apache. Um, we've already covered how to install it and testing our first uh, default configuration. Now we're going to go ahead and explore the directories and important files of, of Apache and uh, stuff like that. So um, we loaded before 192.168.1.149 pulled up the default page. Now I'm going to show you where the default pages and HTML files are located. So in Apache, your default pages and um, code will be located CD var www. Okay, this is where you'll find index.html. So if you open up index.html, you'll see that um, you're getting the code. So what you see here, it works, you know, this blah, 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 blah. It's over here. So all of your, all of your files and um, your HTML files, stuff like that will be located in var slash www. Um, that's HTML files. Now there are exceptions, which we will cover later. Okay. So first thing, um, you'll notice is that, um, you don't have to type in var www and I'll show you why. So the first thing, uh, you'll do is, uh, sorry, I, I should say the next step that we'll do is check out the rest of the configuration files. So the rest of the configuration files for Apache are located at etc slash Apache two. Okay. And then if you list that, you'll see that there are various configurations of files. So Apache two, which is the, the Apache two is the main configuration of your web server, all the settings and everything like that in vars is the environmental variables, which we'll cover in later videos mods available. So these are specific mods that Apache has that you could turn on and off. These are ports. So um, these are what ports Apache is configured to listen on. Sites enabled are when you're hosting multiple websites, um, you have two, you have, uh, let's say, um, mancini.com and mancini2.com. Uh, you'll have multiple sites in the sites enabled list. So we'll cover that as well. Um, mods enabled, which mods are turned on, which mods are not turned on, um, sites available. So these are sites that are configured, but not have not been enabled yet. Um, a config config.d, which is further configuration and magic. Okay. Magic uh, we'll cover later on. Okay. So first thing you want to see is the Apache 2com file. So once you go into the Apache 2 comp, you will at uh, first get kind of over, um, you know, you get kind of lost in the world, this huge configuration file, but everything is here for a reason. And, um, and eventually you'll be using a lot of it. So, um, under the global configuration, we can see that there are a lot of, uh, like I said, a lot of options. For instance, like uh, your process ID file, um, things, a lot of things you won't have to touch, um, but you know, it's good to know what they are. So, uh, you get things like the keep alive. Okay. So, and the best thing about this file is that it's very well documented. So for instance, the keep alive, whether or not to allow persistent connections, more than one request per connection set to off or di okay, but we want more than one request per connection, especially if you're hosting something dynamic. For instance, picture this, uh, you go into a website with a uh, photo gallery, right? And you open up the photo gallery and there's like five or six different images. Those are all specific requests to the um, server. Now you can argue there are some programming languages that will only have one request, um, but for the majority you will have, um, you will have more than one. So you have an option here, let's say the number of requests to allow during a persistent connection. Okay. So we have like a hundred requests per connection, which is uh, a little high, but fairly reasonable. Okay. Um, things like, uh, you can fine tune the keep alive timeout. Okay, so to wait for the next request. 
Okay, so another thing that you will, um, that you need to know about Apache. So for every request Apache gets, there's a new process started on the server. So um, for instance, if I click, let's say I click those images and I have five images open at once. There's five separate processes that open up on the server. Now, um, for performance reasons, you'll want to, of course, tweak that and we'll, we'll get into the, the nitty gritty of it um, uh, later on, but that's how Apache works. Okay. Okay, so you have here, for instance, uh, it actually says right here, so the start servers, number of server processes to start, okay? So uh, this is pretty much saying that how many servers, you know, we can start with. Uh, sorry, how many processes we're starting with. So uh, so right here, it's already, it's set to five, okay? Okay, so now, um, you when you move further on, you'll see things like uh, your logging. So right now, it's set, by default it's set to warn okay so what we can do is set this so for instance say um, say I want debug info in my logs you just hit just change that to debug and all the options are here so debug info notice warn error um, crit and uh, alerts emerge okay and those are all different levels of logging okay for the most part, though, um, for the most part, errors or uh, or info is good enough. Okay, so these are the module configurations. So include. So these are includes. So an include file is basically when this configuration loads up. It also includes mods enabled uh, dot load files. So the dot load file will then help load the module into memory for Apache to use. Okay. And that's about it for this is all the global configuration part of um, Apache. Okay, so we'll move on. Okay, so that was the global configuration part. Now we want to move on. Let let's move on to um, sites enabled so sites enabled is a directory so CD sites enabled okay and as you can see here's a default file so 000 default so if you do nano 00 default this is the site configuration so before was a global configuration that um, change the way Apache works. This is the configuration for how the site works. Okay. So remember I told you var slash www. Okay. Well, this is called the document root. Now the document root dictates where Apache is going to load the files for this particular site. So say I had multiple websites. Okay. So I didn't just have one. So vars uh, slash bar slash www. I can't very well put 20 websites worth of data in there because Apache won't know what to load. So I'll start creating um, specific folders for the sites. So then I'll have to change this. So say var slash www slash um, Mancini123, for example. So what will happen, what this will cause is that when this site loads, it's going to load slash var slash www slash mancini123 and then all the files located in mancini123 so you'll have to change the this okay so you won't change it for this one because obviously you'll be changing it for the main website but any subsequent websites that you open up will have to definitely um, change this and then we'll go over what what's called virtual hosts uh, in the next video on how to um, how to go ahead and allow uh, multiple websites <clears throat> now you'll have certain options here so for instance allow override now if you're using a pa um, if you're using something like WordPress or something like that 
there are some times where you will need to use allow overrides. Um, so for instance, that'll be located here. And for instance, you'll just change allow. Okay. Uh, sorry, all. So you want to allow overrides all, for instance. Okay. But by default, it's not. So if I don't save anything, you'll see by default, allow overrides is none. Okay. And then again, there's more, uh, there's more options for how this is logged. So log levels worn, stuff like that. And that's specific to this virtual host. Okay. So moving along on the other available config files. So if you go to CD sites, sorry, if you go to CD sites available, these are specific sites that can be turned on. So for instance, there's default and default SSL. So as you can imagine, default would be default uh, HTTP and default SSL is SSL. So if you do cat default dash SSL, this is the particular website. So again, uh, like I showed you before, document root slash var www, the directory var slash www, Okay, then there are specific things that are added to the file because of SSL, where the SSL certificates are, stuff like that. We'll definitely go over that um, in uh, next video. Okay. Okay, moving on, um, we'll go on to the mods enabled. So mods enabled, that's also a directory. So these are all the specific mods that have been enabled. So for instance, uh, CGID, um, uh, stuff like that. These are the default. You'll want things like, for instance, later on, we'll talk about one in our security section, we'll talk about mod security, mod uh, evasive, stuff like that, that will be enabled. Okay. If we check mods, available these are specific mods that we could turn on okay and then we'll learn how to enable mods later on okay if we will move on to environmental variables which i believe is a file Okay, I'm seems to be having an issue opening up the invars. Actually, I really don't. Th I don't think you can actually open that file. But I'll double check and then uh, I'll update the video section. Um, so next will be configuration.d or config.d, and then if you list the files that are in here, you'll see that we have our character set or localized error pages. Localized error pages are, um, of course. Um, uh, Basically, if you get like a 404, you can redirect to a specific page, uh, stuff like that. Um, now you have the security file, okay, stuff like that. So, different options here, which we'll go over. But the main page, the, the main uh, site uh, folders and files that you will update. Uh, normally will be the apache.conf sites available sites enabled and mods those are the day-to-day -day. everything else is like maybe a once and once in a blue moon that you actually have to use it now where are the logs for apache well the logs are available at var log slash apache okay and now you'll have a couple of files here so for instance the access.log if you recall, I do have a uh, video on how to follow the access.log to see um, all the requests that are happening on your server. So right now, if I 
refresh my page or make a request, you can see that you can see that it's in real time. So if you're having an issue with multiple site uh, multiple sites like performance wise stuff like that, then for sure you'll want to use the access.log. Um, if you're having an issue with a brand new site and um, you can't get to a specific part of your page, access.log is where you'll want to come to see what the internal messages are. Okay, likewise, error.log. Okay, so this is where my pa my browser is looking for a favorites icon, which doesn't ex uh, doesn't exist. Okay, so that's the file structure of Apache and where the most critical files and folders are. If um, you have any questions about today's video, please leave them in the comment section below. You can always send me a note via email. You can also visit my site, www.shamancini.com and stay tuned for the next video where we'll learn about how to enable mods and disable mods and um, we'll learn how to do, how to host a second website. Thank you for watching.